Just look at that. <sighs> Soak it in, it's not gonna last. What's up everyone, Scott the Chart Hammer here. It is officially fall, I mean, it is like a hard fall. It's like thud fall. Yeah, we went from summer to almost winter pretty much overnight in the start of September. If you guys watched the live stream I did a couple days ago, I kind of talked about how the weather, we hit the seasonal cliff. That's something I talk about every year, where pond fishing, bass fishing, pan fishing, a lot of that stuff just, it doesn't, it doesn't become worth the effort anymore. It's better to just go out and do some like sturgeon fishing, salmon fishing, steelhead fishing, some of the stuff that you're gonna find in the winter, typically anyway. But as you can see from that, and some 70 degree weather, we got a last chance to get in on some bass. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm pretty much going from river to pond, starting out with smallmouth bass, and then I'm gonna go to a pond later with my buddy Christian and do some bass fishing. This might be my last bass trip I get in this year. Well, dedicated bass trip where I'm pretty positive I'm gonna catch fish. I'm still gonna do some winter bass fishing, but I mean, fall feed, no joke, fall feed is the best time to fish for bass, especially here in Oregon, especially in the Mid Valley. So we're gonna get to catching, but before we do, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down there, the notify bell next to us, so you're gonna be the first to see all the great content that's gonna come from this channel. Speaking of which, I gotta give a big thank you to each and every name scrolling up to my right here. These are my shout outs for everyone that subscribed to the channel during the week. Thank you guys so much for your guys' support, helping this channel grow to the point it has, and continuing to help it grow. If you guys want your name on this list, you guys know what button press. So as I kind of explained already, we've had almost winter-like weather. It's been down to the 60s for highs, and some days it hasn't even gotten above 50, and it's just been wet and miserable. Winter-like weather here in Oregon. Well, early winter. The benefit that does is all that rain, all that temperature, it just shock drops the water temperature, and also the help with the uh, barometric pressure being lower. Fish get a lot more active. That's why they call it the fall feed. They're just out hitting everything that comes by them. They're in a mode of feed, 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 eat, any, eat anything they see. You can throw the kitchen sink at bass this time of year, and they'll eat it. And I don't know about you, but I want to get into it before it's too late. Yep, you saw me. There you go, guys. That's a fish. There you go, guys. That's unreal! Oh, this is such an awesome looking fish. Oh, yeah! All right, guys, check that out. All right, especially this time of year, kind of hard to go wrong with a small jig with a little swim bait trailer on it. So that's what we're going to start with. Get a moving bait going first just to see how active the fish are today. So we are pretty much following the same cadence as always. We pick one side and we sort of fan cast over to the other direction and only fishing like what's right in front of you and then go a little bit further out the second time through, a little bit further out the, sec the third time through, and then as far as you can, fourth time through. Reason being is because there's probably fish right here, right in front of me, which is why I'm not directly at the bank. I don't wanna walk up to the bank and scare away all my possible catches, but also with scaring away all my possible catches in front of me, if I, as soon as I get to a spot, make as far a cast as I can, and I, I catch a fish out there and I bring it through, I'm gonna scare off everything that's in front of me. Pretty much hampering my possible success for the day, the amount of fish I can catch. I'll tell you what guys, the way things have gone this year, I've never looked forward to a winter fishing season so much in my life. Not just for salmon, steelhead, but also bass fishing, sturgeon fishing. I'm just more confident and I feel more prepared and more excited going into this winter fishing season. Well, hello. swim bait's not getting it done either. I'm starting to get the feeling they're lower. Yeah, they might be down the bottom. Time to switch it up. Let's go with the old deadly Nedley. Oh, just got bit. Felt really small though. If a Ned rig can't get it done over here for smallmouth, I don't know what will. And it's about time to head to the pond anyway. First time fishing this lure. What is it? It is the uh, Strike King soft body jerk bait, like a fluke. Water's a lot clearer than the last time we were here. It is, yeah. It like a rock. This thing doesn't. <laughs> I'm already gonna switch to a switch back to a Senko. Yeah, this thing doesn't have enough weight to it right now. Yeah, I think I might. Up 
There's a fish. Not very big, but it is a bass. Oh. I gotta get this in before the season fully changes over. No, he's a good fish. Yeah, this is also my first bass in months, so I gotta sniff this one. <laughs> I actually didn't even feel the strike on that one. It just loaded up. Like he set the hook on himself. Ooh, I'm sinking. Oh, something just moved out there. I'm gonna try frog after this cast. I just saw something move out under that muck. Try this little pond over here. There's gotta be something in that. It looks so bassy. Yep. First cast. Yeah. Decent, decent size. Oh, dude. Calm. The beard. Yeah, that's a, that guy's got a three pound frame, even though he's probably only like two pounds right now. He's got hit again. Dude, bring the frog over here. <laughs> this is some tenacious grass. Yeah. Oh, you see where that landed? Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of food in here for a bass because that bass was, <laughs> that that was a blade fish. Yeah. That bass was thin. So I probably saw that frog and it's just like, yes, thank heavens. <laughs> here, right here, this corner, something just moved. I would actually be surprised <laughs> if that was the only bass in this part of the pond. Well, that just makes me happy knowing I got at least one more frog fish in before the year is over. Uh, I would have got something on this jig by now. I'm gonna guess then that there's no crappie in here. There you go. There you go. Like just barely over a pound. Yeah, probably. It's nice to catch a fish though. It's been a little while. Yeah. Sniff it. I'm not sniffing the fish. Do it. I'm not sniffing the fish. Do it. No. <laughs> you know why I don't trust the moon phase? Like, I mean, I look, at, I look at the app to get an idea because they put a lot of research into it, but do you know why I don't trust the moon phase? Guess what today's rating was? Nothing. Four. They gave today a four based on the moon phase. And I'm thinking, no, I know Oregon. After the kind of rain we've had yeah. and the fact that the barometric pressure has been so low for a while and today is a you know normal bass fishing type day in the fall, it's going to be a good day. I got something. Yeah, I saw the head shake. There it goes. That was freaky. You know, like I say all the time when people watch my videos and they're like, oh, that was just a, that was just a snag in the weeds. I'm like, no, weeds don't shake their heads. Yeah, like this guy. That's yeah. definitely bigger than that's, the last that's a, one. Well, that's about the same size as the one I caught. Hey, you got your scale on you by any chance? Mm-hmm. I'd like to weigh it. I'm gonna guess pound and a half. Yeah, probably. Got it? Oh, two. You are winning. I am. I didn't even have a Texas rig set up. No, I actually, like, so during that live stream, I actually made a point to not make a Texas rig because I didn't think I was going to do anything. <laughs> you proved me wrong. There's another one. Already? Holy crap. Yeah, they got some nice size fish in here. Yeah. Oh, remember the last time we were here? Yeah, that's true. About the same size as the last one. Yep. Might even be the same fish. It's a little bit smaller. Jesus. It's a worm. It's mondo worm. <laughs> Fish so big you pass gas. <laughs> Look at my rod. <laughs> On this little baby brush hog. Well, you're definitely making up for last time we fished here. Yeah. Fishy, fishy. Yes. Hello, fishy, fishy. That's a little bigger. Yep. 
fish is a pretty good sized fish. Each one of them probably been what a pound and a half. Uh, yeah, I mean average. Yeah. And as we usually do when it comes to bass fishing here in Oregon, we fish in a sunset. It's just sunset comes a lot earlier this time of year. That is my least favorite thing about fall. Favorite thing being the fishing. I mean, this is the best time of year to fish, period, for anything, everything. And so concludes our first, hopefully our not last edition of Oregon fall bass fishing. Uh, we, we need to end this fall fishing day right. With some fall beer. Yes, a pumpkin beer. Now that's how you end fall fishing. So yeah, nothing happened on the river. I really want to get another smallmouth before the year's over, and that's not the last time I'm going to go smallmouth fishing. That was just the best opportunity I've had to go smallmouth fishing here in the last couple of weeks. The pond fishing was awesome, though, and I'm actually really happy to have been there for Christian to get the best bass day he's ever had, catch a new personal best, catch the most bass he's ever caught in one trip. At least good sized bass. That was a complete contrast from the last time him and I fished that pond. That pond's always been productive, but the last time we fished that pond, I had like, you know, I had a bag that would have won a tournament and he didn't catch a single fish. So, you know, now, now like this year he won the day. Last year I won the day. Next year we got to have that rubber match. But let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. Again, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there and the notify bell next to it so you're going to be the first to see all the great content that's going to come from this channel. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and as always, tips up, tight lines, and have fun fishing.